So Elon Musk is shifting gears for AI on Tesla. So I know that pun's intended, but imagine pouring billions of dollars into groundbreaking AI supercomputer project only to pivot entirely because the tech landscape has evolved so fast. So could this bold move redefine Tesla's future or will it signal deeper challenges in AI hardware? So as someone who's navigated tech shifts for decades, I'm asking what happens when even Elon Musk decides to scrap a flagship initiative like Dojo and bet on something radically different? How does this change the game for autonomous driving and synthetic data? These questions are keeping industry leaders awake at night, and we're going to dive in deep into Tesla's AI overhaul. Let's dive into this together here today. So Tesla's AI pivot under Elon Musk isn't just a tweak, it's a full rethink that could reshape how people build intelligent systems. So just like these questions that I raised earlier, this shift focuses us to examine if specialized hardware is still king or if versatility wins the day. So we're gonna break this down today and go into some of the key points on this latest development. So let's jump over here and look at some articles here that we've got going here. So Tesla shuts down Dojo supercomputer team to streamline chip design. So CEO Elon Musk ordered the company disband its Dojo supercomputer team, which had been designed and using its D1 chips to train its self-driving and AI models. It doesn't make sense for Tesla to divide its resources and scale two quite different AI chips, Musk said. The Tesla AI5 and AI6 subsequent and subsequent chips will be excellent for inference at, at least or and at least pretty good for training. Tesla plans to increase uh, to the increasing workload uh, outside of companies like Nvidia and, and AMD, right? Musk also runs AI company XAI, which has its own supercomputer and substantial business relationships with, with Tesla. He recently said his electric vehicle company should invest in AI. Now, there's a lot of other shifts going on here, right? Because Elon Musk also confirmed that Tesla signed a $16.5 billion chip contract with Samsung Electric, right? So he confirmed that, that he signed this big contract and he said Samsung did not name the counterparty, but said that the effective start date of the contract would be July 26, 2025. So like this has already passed, right? And it, and it would end in December 30, uh, 31st of 2033. That's a long contract. Now, Samsung, which is set to, to deliver earnings, was expecting its uh, profit to be more than half. So Samsung is really in trouble right now. And it sounds like Musk helped bail them out, especially with a U.S. plant, right? Their U.S. plant wasn't doing anything. So my guess is that Elon got this for pretty cheap, right? Because Samsung has been having it really rough lately. And uh, let me see if I can find it here. So um, let's find it here. There was uh, the company shares rose six percent. Surprise on the trade, right? Because it's a huge opportunity, and if nothing else, it's with you know Elon Musk and Tesla. Now, Sawyer Marriott, if you know Sawyer, but he says it sounds like the dedicated Dojo chip that was previously in development is no longer development, but they're creating a new version of Dojo built on AI five slash AI six hardware five or hardware six. So right now, Teslas are shipping with hardware four, right? So if you just bought a cyber truck or a new uh, Model Y, you're getting hardware four on these, right? And future trips, which which uh, thanks to big performance upgrades will at least meet some of Tesla's needs. Um, and so they're going to use these. Um, it's also worth noting that Elon's comment that most training in the future will be inference for the sole purpose of training, aka synthetic data generation. Now, I think this is actually one of the interesting moves that's written in here is um, is the sole purpose of training, or like being synthetic data generation. That's an interesting move. And I mean, Elon obviously knows, you know, a thing or two about AI and about generation and that kind of stuff. But man, with model collapse and all this other stuff, I'm really interested to see what this is because so far we've not been able to successfully generate synthetic data. That's been one of the things that's been true on AI so far. So Elon's trying to skate to the puck here somewhat. But Sawyer says, I think what Elon is saying here is the future, a lot of training process won't involve gathering and processing massive new real world data sets. Instead, it will rely on inference from existing models to create artificial data. Um, and so that's an interesting move by Elon to really go after this training data, right? This is what he's talking about, this um, thing. Uh, the synthetic data here, right? But Elon says in a supercomputer cluster, it would make sense to put many A A AI5, AI6 chips on a board, uh, whether an inference or training, simply to reduce network cabling complexity and cost a few orders of magnitude. One could call this that Dojo 3, I suppose. So Dojo 2 is what was currently, you know, what they were building on top of. The latest one was Dojo 2, which is what's been doing the neural network training for the latest FSD 13 and 14. And now it sounds like they're just going to try to strap as 
many of these AI5 and AI6 chips to a board, which does make sense. I've kind of always wondered why we build, you know, racks and racks and racks of servers rather than just build out larger servers. And here's some great information about our service. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com Spencer.